usually this investment philosophy, does it take a week, a month, three months to do the research, a year? I mean, you have 10 names. What, how long? It depends. I mean, one of the best investments we ever made uh, it took us four hours to do the work. Uh, it was during the financial crisis. Which uh, was that? Uh, Wachovia Corporation. Okay. So um, I was on my Blackberry uh, eating breakfast, uh, the Brooklyn Diner, uh, in front of my building. And there was a story went across the, uh, it was just you know, re you know, Wall Street Journal headline, uh, Reuters headline, excuse me, uh, went across saying um, that Citigroup uh, to acquire the Wachovia banking subsidiaries for $2 in Citigroup stock. Stock was halted. This was kind of an interesting transaction because they were buying the subsidiaries for Citigroup stock. I figured, hmm, this is interesting. What happens to the holding company? So I went back to the, you know, kind of went upstairs to the office and, you know, cracked open the 10K and, and uh, another member of the team, Mick McGuire, uh, uh, he and I worked on it. And uh, what was interesting is the 1,000-page 10K of Wachovia Corporation, I think 900 pages were on the banking subsidiary. And there was fewer than 100 pages on the holding company. And, by buying the banking subsidiary, Citi was leaving a holding company which had cash, um, you know, in Wachovia Securities, uh, A.G. Edwards, they had paid six, seven billion for it six months before, um, Evergreen Asset Management, and they were taking a $27 billion uh, loss on the sale of the subsidiary. And uh, it, it also had a liability called non-cumulative perpetual preferred stock, which if you ever want to have a liability in your life, this is the single greatest uh, liability to have. It's a it's a form of equity where you never have to pay a dividend, and when you don't pay them, they don't accumulate. And right. the worst case is they get a couple of directors on the board, and you say hi to them each meeting, and uh, you have this very. And I said, look, this could be the, our, our Berkshire Hathaway. And uh, at the end of the day, we figured the asset. You know, in four hours we determined the holding company was worth at least 11 to 14 dollars, cash, a tax refund that you could, you, know, you could carry back the 27 billion dollar uh, loss, recover cash taxes that have been paid. So you have this cash vehicle, you don't Wachovia Securities, which is a you know, good wealth management business. Mm -hmm. You don't A.G. Edwards, another interesting yeah. uh, asset. You, these are businesses you know well. And uh, the stock opened after it was halted at $1.84. So we said, look, it's worth you know, 11 to 14, $1.84. We bought 42% of the volume for the next four days. And then it was acquired by, then Wells came in and put in a topping bid of $7 in Wells Fargo stock, which wasn't actually a topping bid. But the Wells Fargo deal did not require government assistance. Right. So I think Sheila Bear liked that. Yep, I remember that. Liked we, that I too, actually interviewed Sheila Bear sure. for our show.